All right, guys, so it is time to jump into another Dokkan Battle video. Today, we're going to be showing off the new awakening for the Foot Kamehameha Goku from the World Tournament. Thank you to my boy Josh for allowing me to use the account, and let's get going. I figured we'd hop into the Ultra Instinct Goku uh, boss vent. This would be a good place to kind of show how powerful uh, the new Goku would be on a... Uh, like a physical team going up against an int boss. I felt like that's kind of a like we could kind of see like how Powerful Goku will be plus also uh, ultra instant Goku like once we get towards the end of the fight uh, Particularly like once he's you know in his mastered ultra instinct form He does hit for a ridiculous amount of damage. So I thought it would be interesting to see like how much damage um, The Goku the foot Kamehameha Goku will take even up against such a powerful opponent because again the foot kamehameha goku he kind of is an offensive and defensive unit now usually i'll do these showcases right uh i'll start out by talking about the unit but uh <laughs> i've i'm seeing some of the feedback i think a lot of y'all would like it if i played a little bit like got into the stage a little bit had maybe the unit attack first and then go over him a bit. So that's what I'm going to try and do here. Uh, so we'll just get through this first rotation. Um, and then we'll move on to seeing what the Goku is capable of doing. Uh, obviously, yeah. <laughs> 56 damage. Uh, LR Gogeta is one of the best units in the game. There's not really <laughs> not really much to say there. He just <laughs> he does that every single time. Uh, all right. So moving on to the second phase of the fight, which is actually an STR unit. So this would be cool. This would be a good way for us to see uh, what Goku is able to do up against a physical type unit. Um, now, I believe Goku, his uh, ability will activate. Hmm, actually, I want to get him a super attack. Uh, that will work. So Super Vegito doesn't need a super attack right there. Uh, we'll just let him do some counters. We'll let Goku go ahead and super, and then we'll have uh, Vegito Blue over here. Now, funny enough, Vegito Blue sitting there does make me think of how I still want to rainbow him on my account, but I just, you know, do I am yet to have enough dupes to actually do that. Oh, Vegito with the dodge, my boy! There you go, Super Vegito. All right, so here is Foot Kamehameha Goku's super attack. Now, I'm pretty sure it's actually different from what it used to be. Uh, I'm pretty sure it used to be... Oh, did he get the stun off? He did. Okay, very good, very good, very good. Pretty sure Goku used to just go, like, horizontal. Now he kind of goes up. Maybe I'm crazy, but I feel like they did slightly update uh, his animation. So, real quick, let's go ahead and take a look at Goku now. Let's kind of uh, break him down. So, this guy right here. This is Martial Artist Fight Goku. Uh, again, he is the Dokkan Awakening for the foot kamehameha goku who was the what world tournament number was he on japan uh, i believe he was like the the 16th world tournament on japan and he was the 13th world tournament on global he was uh that number reward he awakens just with uh you know world tournament mark medals the same uh masters mark medals that we would expect uh, his leader skill is physical type P2 and attack and defense 60%, which is not really great. And it's not good for Dokkan Battlefield 2.0 either. Super attack is the foot Kamehameha, which does supreme damage and has a medium chance to stun the enemy. So medium chance is probably about a 30% chance, which is nice because, I mean, we just literally saw that work on its first attempt. Now, that'll be good for, like, the beginning stages of some of these boss fights. But, obviously, once we start getting to, you know, the later stages of all these recent boss fights, they're immune to, you know, often sealing, stunning, lowering attack, lowering defense. They're just immune to all that shit. So, it's not really going to be that great against some of the later bosses. But, like, as we just saw, you know, we're fighting an SDR type, which is strong against the physical team we're running. We get the sun off, boom, that'll save us a lot of damage in the long run. So it can still be useful. It's just in the hardest part of the fight, it probably won't be able to activate. Uh, so his passive skill is holding out, which is attack and defense 80% when performing a super attack. So the fact that these buffs are applied when he performs a super means they will uh, equate a little stronger than if it was at the start of turn. Because uh, it'll, it'll factor links 
and support type passives into it uh, before the damage is calculated. So that's nice. The only downside is if Goku is in the first slot, that 80% defensive bonus will not apply before he's hit. He has to attack first before he gets that defensive bonus. Now, his links are all in the family, in fighter, Kamehameha, Shocking Speed, World Tournament Champion, Turtle School, and Shattering Limit. So he has a lot of kind of worthless key links, I would say. Uh, I mean, I guess Shattering Limit is something you can get on, you know, physical. Uh, you can, you know, kind of work him with like LR Trunks or Kefla or Kale. So I guess there are units that it would work with. World Tournament Champion obviously is uh, mostly a uh, dead link in most areas. But he does have a few links like All in the Fighter, in, uh, All in the Family, In Fighter, and Kamehameha, which aren't that tough to get active. Obviously, uh, In Fighter, that's a link that uh, I'm using right now on a rotation with Physical Super Vegito. That works kind of okay. Uh, his 12K multiplier is 140%, which, eh, I, w I wish it would have been a little higher, honestly. Um, and then, of course, he also does have uh two categories he has the uh world tournament category and he also is on the low class warrior category now uh his inclusion on the low class warrior category uh is actually interesting for me because uh i kind of want to start doing maybe like a challenge type series or something along those lines in for like upcoming dokkan fest um like events like, I want to try and beat, like, okay, let's just say the next Dokkan Fest event is, okay, it'll be Golden Week for Japan. That should be our next Dokkan Fest. Let's say it's the Super Saiyan Blue Evolution uh, Vegeta, you know, his new form from the Turn of Power. Uh, I expect we're going to get a big Dokkan Fest for Golden Week, so it will be something incredibly hyped like that, right? So, he'll have a Dokkan event where we fight him, you know, fight through all the forms of Vegeta and whatnot. I would then like to try and go through that with every category team, including some of the weaker category teams like uh, the Peachy Peachy Gal team, the World Tournament team, and the Low Class Saiyan team. Now, at this point, I think the Low Class Saiyan team is far and away the weakest category team in the game uh, because the World Tournament category has several Saiyans in it who are uh with the world tournament category has several LRs in it who are quite good uh the Peachy Peachy Gal category obviously has Kefla and Khalifla those two alone uh, are pretty much good enough to carry the category Ribrian herself is not bad you have the tech free to play Bulma who is a very very powerful unit so Okay, attacks at around 800,000. Again, he is rainbowed. Okay, we got the um, additional. We got a couple crits there. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Oh, and he got the stun. Yo, this man. This man right here getting these stuns off left and right. Okay. I am not mad at that. All right, that's dope. That is dope. This man getting these stuns off all the fucking time. Hey. Yo. Okay, okay. Obviously, that will, you know, save an item here as well, because, you know, this is the nuking stage with this Goku blowing us away. But anyway, get back to, what I, back to what I was saying. So, the World Tournament category, good with the LRs, Chunks and Goten, uh, LR Mr. Satan, as well as uh, LR Tian and Chiaotzu. Pichu Pichu Gals has uh, several, you know, pretty good girls on the team. But then, you get to... <laughs> You get to the low class warrior category, and there is where you start running into some trouble. Um, obviously, they have had a gigantic buff recently with uh, the Turlises, right? So you have not only the Great Eight Turlis, but you also have the AGL Dokkan Fest Turlis. That dramatically makes the category better, like huge buffs. But outside of that, the rest of the team is pretty iffy. So this Goku on that team, I think, could be kind of interesting. Uh, obviously, you know, I'm, I'm going to want to play around with it a little bit more, but I, I do think that he will be able to add at least a little bit to the team, right? Because he is a little bit of a defensive unit and that if you have him super first, he'll be able to tank at least somewhat uh, against normal hits. Obviously, he's not going to be able to tank 
uh, any kind of crazy super attack from, like, a big Dokkan Fest boss, right? But, you know, he should be able to tank some normals at certain points. Uh, so, like, if I am trying to, you know, go through these events like that uh, with certain teams, I think he actually could be a unit that uh, could be quite valuable in the long run. So, uh, that's, you know, I, I, that's why, like, moving forward, uh, I might actually prioritize... Uh, like rainbowing kind of lesser units um, on my account anyway. Uh, okay, we're getting a, lot, getting a lot of dodges today, bro. Hey, listen, I always tell people the power of three dodge is better than y'all believe. But I'm going to probably try to rainbow units like, you know, Great Ape Turles. Like even more so before I'd want to rainbow like the actual Dokkan Fest Turles. You know, get some of those lesser categories some love and make them a lot stronger. So like definitely... Soon as I beat Extreme Physical Super Battle Road, uh, your boy is absolutely gonna be going to destroy. Hmm. Let me do. Yeah, I think this will work out fine, actually. Uh, all right. So, as soon as I beat Extreme Physical Super Battle Road, uh, what I'm gonna do is I am going to go ahead and rainbow Kefla uh, to kind of beef up my. Uh, I kind of want to use an item here. But we're not going to need to. Uh, this Goku, I have full faith, will be able to tank all of those hits from Ultra Instinct Goku. So no concerns here. But yeah, once uh, Kefla is rainbowed, uh, she'll be able to carry the load for the uh, Peachy Peachy Gal team quite a bit. Uh, now, in terms of the low class uh, Saiyan team, I'm actually going to have to do some like research into that. Like I'm going to have to figure out, like, okay, you know, what what kind of rotations would work best. Like I do feel this... this um, Goku here, like, he's, he's okay, he's doing fine so far, he's not gonna be, you know, a crazy hard hitter along the lines of other Dokkan Fest type units, also, Super Vegito is doing a little bit more damage than I anticipated here, I thought Ultra Instinct Goku would be able to hold up there, but, you know, once Vegito really gets going, he does output damage like that, and looks like, hey, the World Tournament Champion is actually gonna finish it, my boy, Goku taken out himself from many years into the future. Good shit. Good shit. Good shit. Good shit. Good shit. Good shit. Uh, all right, guys. I guess that will go ahead and finish out this video for here. Uh, I'm probably going to go ahead and uh, use this account to showcase uh, two more units from the most recent batch of uh, Dokkan units that were released with last night's data download. Uh, the great Namekian Piccolo as well as the World Tournament Prize Chi-Chi. So thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.